Welcome back to K Plus channel. Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Bowling, AKA K Plus at K Plus channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified on all of my future videos. Guys, don't forget to like this video, leave comments, and share this video with all your friends, family, colleagues, neighbors, and associates. Happy Black History Month. Richard Allen. Richard Allen was born on February the 14th 1760 in Philadelphia. Richard Allen was a slave who had a religious conversion experience at the age of 17, which made him pursue ministry as his life's work. He became the first African American licensed to preach in 1782 and the first ordained deacon in this country in 1799. Richard taught himself to read and write, and he joined the Methodist at the age of 17. Allen's master was touched by Reverend Freeborn Garretson's preaching, which encouraged slaveholders to emancipate their people. He was convinced that slavery was wrong and offered enslaved people an opportunity to buy their freedom. After performing extra work, Allen bought his freedom in the early 1780s and cha changed his name from Negro Richard to Richard Allen. Allen was qualified as a preacher in 1784 and in 1786 Allen became a preacher at St. George's Methodist Episcopal Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania but was only able to preach early morning services. In 1787, Allen and a Methodist preacher by the name of Absalom Jones led black members out of St. George's Methodist Church and formed the FAS, Free African Society. The FAS, was a non-denominational mutual aid society that assisted fugitive enslaved people and new immigrants to the city. By 1794, the society had enough money saved to build the Bethel Church. In 1816, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that Bethel could become independent of the Methodist Society and Allen was consecrated as its first bishop. From 1797 until his death, Allen and his wife Sarah operated a station on the Underground Railroad for fugitive enslaved people. Allen died at his home on March 26, 1831 and was buried at the church he founded. Thank you guys again for joining me. Happy Black History Month.